against the entrance to the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, watched where he was laid. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When we listen to the Word of God, we should envision we are the people in it so that we can hear God talking to us. We should then view that Word from their perspective. So during Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, we could imagine being a Jewish citizen of Jerusalem or a Roman soldier watching this parade of people and wondering what is going on. We could be one of the many disciples following Jesus or one laying down a palm for him to proceed over. We could be one of the apostles, possibly the ones who get the donkey or the one who helps Jesus get on it. We could be Peter who later denies him three times or even Judas betraying him. All of these perspectives or viewpoints will help us better understand the message that God is sending us. But I believe it is only appropriate to view the events of this week starting today from Jesus' point of view. For these events that we will recall this week are all about the actions of Jesus. This week is about our eternal salvation. And that only happened the salvation of our very souls because of Jesus' suffering, His death, and His resurrection. I recently read some advice that I'm trying to follow as a father that when you give a hug, especially to a teenage girl or a young lady, to never let go until they let go because you'll never, you never know when you have those moments to capture again. And so as I hug my daughters, I'm just trying to hold on and, until they tell me it's time to let go of that hug. So I'm going to use that advice for you too. See, I'm hugging to show them my love. And so I'm going to use that advice, this opportunity to let you know about the love of Jesus Christ for you. Because it all started this week. The life of Jesus, our salvation all started In John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish but might have eternal life. That led to the suffering, death, and resurrection of His Son for our salvation. That led to this week those four words for God so loved this week is about God's love his love for you is greater than any you have known and will ever know when I think of the moments of greatest love of my life I think of looking at my wife on our wedding day knowing that I loved her so much that I was ready to tell her that no matter what happened, I would be with her and love her for the rest of my life. How small is that compared to what Jesus said and did for us? Even when he was sweating blood because of the torment his soul had over what was going to happen, he still went on to suffer and die because of his love for us. When I think of another great moment of love in my life, I think of holding my children when they were born and peering deeply into their eyes. Those were moments of pure love. I had no doubt or regret for any of my past actions that led up to those moments. Any thought of the future at that time was only of the love I would pour into them. This week, Jesus will pour that same love upon us. He will look down from the cross, 
appear into our eyes and tell us, Look, see how much I love you? I suffered so much pain. The skin is hanging off of my body. My body is so marred that my appearance is beyond that of a man. My blood is nearly all gone. I am nailed to a cross, hanging naked, near death, for you, because I love you. So this week, recognize the love that God is showing you every step of the way through his passion. Take the time to fully embrace each moment of this entire week. It's not simply about the joyful crowd laying down the palms because the Messiah is entering Jerusalem. It's not only, it's not only about Jesus' resurrection on Easter morning. That is the hope. But all of it, it's all about the love of God for each and every one of us. It's about his institution of the Eucharist so that we could receive him each and every day of our lives. It's about his suffering on the Mount of Olives, his suffering at the pillar, his suffering during the way of the cross, his suffering while hanging on the cross. It's about his love for you. For God so loved the world. Amen.